Morning, everybody. Welcome to the wood pile. I got a vent this morning. Pissed off at the bank. Taxes. Fucking the bank and taxes, man. I tell you what. So, for the window business, I had to open a business account, which is not the easiest thing in the world, by the way, when dealing with a bunch of rinky dink fucking middle of nowhere banks. But we got it done. And uh, so, we got a regular checking account, you know, to pay bills out of and whatever and create a secondary savings account for the account. And 8% um, of every dollar we make goes right into that second account, sales taxes. So, you know, come the end of the year, or end of the quarter, we gotta file taxes. There's no digging into personal accounts or where's the money. It's all right there. It's in a secondary account. It's all by itself. Every job, 8% rough top. So, you gotta file taxes quarterly, right? So, so uh, August 31st was, uh, the end of the quarter and we've got to have them filed by i don't know like september 21st or so, something like that so we jumped on it early uh like as soon as september 1st hit file the taxes um remember we have all the money and we don't owe any real taxes yet because we have we haven't made a lot and we've got a lot of costs involved that you know you work out as deductions so it takes away from your total tax liability so all said and done all we owed was sales tax and it's not that much it's only like 364 bucks so when we signed up with the state to become um, sales tax collectors, authorized collectors of sales tax, which is a whole process in itself to get signed up for, you can't have any real problems in life, you can't have any debt, you can't owe any taxes and outstanding bills anywhere. So we get authorized and to do that, you gotta sign up and give them a bank account which they have unfettered direct access to. So they can dip in and get their money if they ever need it. So we do this. We give them access to the savings account. Everything's good. September 1st comes, file the taxes, and um, submit the little electronic payment and all that. All good. I wake up this morning and I got an alert. Kevin, um, here's an email from the state. Tax people aren't real happy with you right now. Uh, you're, you're not paying your taxes. They're assessing penalties and fines and interest. You, you need to make this payment. Get on there and handle this. Don't wait. So I jump right on the tax department line. Hang on, here's the bank now. Oh, brother. Hey, Kate, Kevin. Hey, Kevin, that's actually um, Ashley from Sydney Federal. How are you? Hey, Ashley, Kevin here. How are you? Good, thanks. Um, I was just chatting with Kate regarding the um, transaction. We did reach out to our back office, and unfortunately, um, it was returned because it didn't come through with a name. Um, so you would just have to reach out to the IRS to let them know. Unfortunately, because it wasn't an error on our end, we wouldn't be able to refund those, those fees it, 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 for So you. I disagree. And let me tell you my position. I think it's easy to ask somebody who makes an error, do you think, feel that you're faultless? And they're to answer, absolutely. That's expected. Unfortunately... I did everything right. I put the money in your bank account properly. I collected 8% of every dollar earned properly. I filed my taxes on time properly. I gave my bank account information properly. And I made sure there was enough money in your bank to cover this properly. I did nothing wrong. If you're choosing to not release a payment to the state tax department with my bank account information, well, that's your choice. I can't make you release the payment and I can't make them change their standard operating procedures because you guys don't agree with what they do. All I can tell you is my tax bill is getting bigger by the day. I can keep, keep submitting this, this account, but you guys won't release the funds. What am I going to do now? Yeah, you just want to notify them to let them know to put it through with your name on it. Okay. Because when it comes through from the IRS like that, it has to have it's, a it's, name it's, attached to it's it. It's not the IRS. The IRS isn't who we're dealing with here. Catch that? Okay, I can try to put you through to the department that handles the returns and see if they can assist you further. If you want to hang on just a no, second. So, well, let's slow down. Let's slow down. Let's not put me on hold because my time is valuable to me. Let's just take down my number. You ready to get my number? Or you have it? Yep. I've got it. Here. Okay. And then when you guys get it figured out and put the money back in the account and get my, or, or decide to release the funds, let me know. Unfortunately, if you don't, make this right for the $35. I'm 
I'm going to accidentally break down in your drive through I think, and cost you freaking three hours of business. No, no, I don't want to do that. I just want my account handled properly. All my taxes paid when I give somebody authorization to pull money out of my account, like the state. Now, if you think that you can just call the state and get them to change their policies, no problem. Hang tight. We're going to three-way call them together. And you and I can together... <laughs>